Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today got a fun one for you. That's right, as you can see, we're going to be talking with you about the NVIDIA FE, the RTX 3080. Um, we've been doing some extensive testing on this thing, and this is some, some information that you guys are going to want to see. The reason you guys are going to want to see it is there's just been some new, new news that's come out from NVIDIA explaining on some places that uh, um, are going to be able to actually sell these RTX 3080s. This is the NVIDIA FE Founders Edition. So that's what we're going to be breaking down for you guys here. A um, couple things I want to get started with right away is um, I've definitely been extensively testing this in the RGL, our remote garden location. We've had it on Hive OS as well as Awesome Miner. You can currently see here we do have it in our RGB gaming editing mining rig and we're currently recording a video here. So we're also mining um, Ethereum as we're doing this video. But a couple things I want to talk with you about. First of all, it does. they do talk about over here and in the description down below, we're going to have links to everything. And, and I always say do your own research, but we did and we are able to do real world testing, not hand selected GPUs sent out to certain people. Um, this is definitely um, going to be real world results here. One thing I'll say is the cooling's not the greatest with the two, the two fans that they've got versus the three fan models that we've seen tested. I will say this though that on one of the models that we've tested it's able to take a lot of overclocks and that's a lot of memory. Um, the other one that, one that you see here that we're working on testing right now this one is not um, handling quite as good as the other one so we don't know if it's firmware issues um, from a second batch that was sent out um, or what or we don't know if it is actually just um, poor product quality we don't know so we got a lot to talk about here today but we are going to be bringing up and talking with you about the uh, NVIDIA FE, their Founders Edition RTX 3080. Um, like I said, it's it's sitting here currently in our GPU, um, in our gaming editing mining rig. But why it's important, one of the things that you're going to see here, and this just came out today, big shout out to everyone over at Discord, especially the guys over at Brandon Coin Discord, Done 12 Mini 2, appreciate all your help. Um, but here it says, NVIDIA admits that its online store needs improvement and changes as a result. For now, the sales of Founders Edition models will be limited to other partners. So basically, they've just given up. Now, you guys know, and in the upper right-hand corner, we're going to have a link to a video where you guys saw us break that these things were actually sold out before they even came on sale. I still feel 100% that the, the, the makers or, or manufacturers of these GPUs have very limited and what we're finding poor quality of these GPUS um, the product the, the the quality that they're made is is, is not the greatest um, there's been a lot of people talking about this but um, as you can see here Nvidia is not even going to sell them on their own website you're gonna have to go to bestbuy.com to order them you're gonna have to go into the store to place an order and then you don't know when you're gonna get it <laughs> so that's really great for everyone. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you're new to the channel, you better hit that subscription bell. Also, you better hit that like button. Give us that thumbs up and comment. Tell us why you, you like these things. But when I say extensive testing, you can see here, that's right, too. Extensive testing that we're doing on these things for you. So that, that way you guys can see whether these things are worth it or not. At MSRP, I highly recommend getting these. But I am going to say hold off on the NVIDIAs right now. I'm, I'm hearing issues. Now, once again, it could be firmware. It could be hardware issues. We don't really know. But I do know that we've seen some, some crazy instances here, and we're going to talk with you guys about them. When we say extensive testing, you can see we've tested certain models against each other as well. So we have been using Hive OS, and in the description down below, we're going to have links to this. We've also been using Awesome Miner to control our Windows rig here. Um, we are a cryptocurrency mining based channel. We focus on pool testings, overclock setting testings, minor program testings. We've been bringing you all sorts of information on the RTX 3080s, um, different makes and models even, guys. Uh, this is great. Been having a lot of fun doing this. But here is the one culprit in hand. That's right. This is an RTX 3080. This is the NVIDIA Founders Edition, their GeForce RTX. This is their flagship model. First one of these we had, super pimping, man. This thing was great, hashing great. We got it hammering, no problem. Like I said earlier, I do have an issue with the cooling on these. I think that the, 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 the cooling just isn't quite the greatest. I hear some people are going to do some, some water blocking with these. Can't wait to see it. Now, with that being said, the, the, the one that we've got that was operating great could really handle some really hammering at home overclocks. But in the description down below, we're going to have links to everything. This is an article over at PC World. It says, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 crashing issues. What you need to know. Now, these issues that they're talking about is with gaming. 
no one's ever really been bringing up the issues that you're seeing on mining so that's what we're here to do is we're breaking this to you guys um, this is issues that we've seen with one of the ones that we've had testing but they talk about the nvidia's long awaited geforce rtx 3080s and 3090s are here um, but there's unfortunately some uh, issues that we're, we're starting to see with these so we're also going to head over here to tomsguide.com um, nvidia rtx 3080s already having serious problems what you need to know um, minus tech tips talks about some issues that he was seeing with with the zotac um, but we're breaking this to you as far as the nvidia fe the founders edition this is the rtx 3080s that we've been doing some extensive testing on once i said extensive testing it's been on um, linux as well as windows here you can see it's running right behind us guys comment and chat let us know what you think about it once again if you guys are new to the channel you better hit that subscription bell that way you can keep up with everything like these videos so others can see it a lot of people need to see these videos guys because this is real world results here um, and this is going to probably cause you to not want to jump out in line and get one of these rtx 3080s right now guys especially with this nvidia model um, pos caps as you guys know all sorts of fun things are going on with that as well but we did have one of these gpus we've actually had two and we'll show you that here in just a second um, before we switched and put two of the nvidia fe founders editions that rtx 3080 side by side you can see we had a zotac trinity and an nvidia fe and those were stable as can be and this you can see here this is the live stream that we did last night this is everything before it and then we go ahead and hammer it in and what we found with with this one and and done 12 mini 2 was seeing this with other issues as well um, with some separate models that they were testing msi and in the nvidia and uh, so lots of issues here but what we found was one of the nvidia rtx 3080s and that was the, the latest one that we were here to test wouldn't keep power limits on the overclocks we are using the the not the newest set of drivers for this reason for that is i know that there's issues with the newest drivers so we wanted to use the ones that were working and like we said on stream even everything was working great stability no problems as soon as we put this new gpu in and we even went full throttle there at 319 watts you can see that it would not take those overclocks so that's what we've been bringing to you we did also get this over on awesome miner using msi afterburner and msi afterburner had 100 percent power while showing up in awesome miner it was only showing power limit of 200 we go back to that 100 percent power and that should be at least 320 watts so what we're finding is there's an issue with probably a second run and we're estimating that they did something with the firmware there to, to throttle them back uh, or, or something is just not right but we've got two tested side by side and when and we put those rigs right back together and we will show you that here in just a second that those rigs are working great no problem guys so like we said we've been seeing issues and we can confirm real world issues with the nvidia rtx 3080s that fe their founders edition and it not taking power limits not necessarily crashing and what i mean by that is we've been having it run for quite some time here we've got it set at 85 percent power limit currently and this is after multiple resets and restarts on our computer it won't show any power limit here in awesome miner so once again i'm thinking there's either hardware issues or some people have said firmware software issues comment in chat let me know what you think but we do once again when we have that hammering away over on hive os you could see everything was working great and then we put the new one in and that's where we saw that it would not take those overclocks we put it all by itself guys in that rig i know it's not issues with the rig the reason for that is right here you can see two 3080s going there's no bottlenecking because of my gpu there's no issues because we have an ssd running um, no no type of issues or anything like that so that's what we wanted to show you here was issues that we're seeing with our rtx 3080s this is the nvidia fe their founders edition like i said that's the rtx 3080 you can definitely hear the little hasher saying do your own research but hopefully this is going to help you guys maybe back off a little bit and kind of see how things settle out for us but like i said we are over on awesome miner we are using phoenix miner as our miner program msi afterburner even when we have 100% power limit here, 
we were only showing 200 watts and we know that's not right we know that's not right because of the testing that we've done over on hive os and when we say 100 percent power limit when you type in zero on power limit that's it's 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 entry level setting and you should be 319 watts and that's where we were so my name's Wes. I'm not your normal miner. You guys better comment down below in this one and tell us what you think. Like I said, we had two. and You can see in the up bottom right-hand corner of the video here. This is great. We'll, we'll back it up here. You can see one, two. But like I said, that's what we've been talking with you guys about today is the RTX NVIDIA RTX 3080, their Founders Edition. If you guys like these videos, in the description down below, you're going to be able to follow us on Twitter. Also, you better hit that description for Discord. We've got all sorts of shenanigans over there. But a good way to support the channel, guys, is we've got the HODL Bitcoin license plate that we're shipping anywhere for free in the U.S. Check that out in the water cooler in Not Your Normal Miner Discord. Also, if you want to send us some of your favorite coins as a thank you, um, we do have something set up over at coinrequest.io. That description's in the link below. You can also get some of your Not Your Normal Miner um, swag over there at Not Your Normal Miner's Hash Merch Market. We really appreciate it. But you guys definitely better head over to Discord. In the description down below, we're going to have a link over to Brandon Coin Discord once again. we got Done 12 Mini 2 bringing up that good information for us here um, about the nvidia fe their rtx 3080 founders editions only going to be able to be bought over in best buy now they're not even selling them on their websites that says a lot guys and we're going to have had all sorts of videos in the upper right hand corner for you guys to check out so you guys can do your own research we've been at the cutting edge of breaking all this stuff to you guys and once again this is real world stuff nvidia doesn't sponsor us this is just what we've seen from what the, the, the models that we've been able to secure but there's lots of articles that we're going to have in the description down below that you guys can keep up with that but as i can say specifically in hive os it crashes our rigs um, this one it doesn't take the power limit as you can see here it likes to keep it at 200 and when we have it here in real world with msi afterburner like i said all sorts of stability issues with with it so i am saying guys head over to discord that's a good place to keep up with us as well we're helping out people all sorts of times also you want to head over to um hive os description down below we got links this is currently that rig running and you can see no issues there whatsoever totally issues when we get that second nvidia rtx 3080 in there and that's what we're doing is we're trying to test nvidia if you see me see this video you better comment down below reach out to us let us know what you think we've been having a lot of fun with this my name's wes i'm not your normal miner thank you